Hey guys, I just got a quick message. Um, you guys respect the Holy Spirit. I know, I know you guys like, how do you respect a spirit or whatever? It's, it's simple. Respect the Holy Spirit. Because sometimes God will put you in a position where he'll have you just out of nowhere, just wake up and just start praying. You don't know why you're praying. You don't know who you're praying for. Or sometimes he'll put an idea in your head that this person may need help. And out of your own will, you should be like, okay, God, I'm going to listen to you and just pray. Because you never know what God is doing. You don't know what he's working on. So I'm saying this because there was a situation that just happened over this holiday break that um, that could have been prevented if I listened to the Holy Ghost when the Holy Ghost told me to call so-and-so and take their son for the break. And I'm like, well, God, I got five other kids. I don't think I want to add on to my plate. But I heard it. I knew something. My spirit was like, yo, just do it. You know, but I was just like, nah, I'm just being, you know, I'm just doing too much. Let me just chill. But I don't know why that would have been a weird situation anyways, because I always do too much. So it's not like, it's not like it's a, you know, it's a, it's like a, a an epiphany or anything. It's like, I always do too much. So that for me would have been an okay thing. Cause it was really in my spirit, like go pick up this kid. And then to hear a couple of days later that um, altercations happen with this kid. Um, but God was already telling me to go pick this kid up. I don't know why he was telling me to do it, but I was just like, yo, I should go pick him up. I should go pick him up. But I already, at the time, I already had seven kids. Was it seven? Uh, how much? Yeah, it was seven kids. I already had seven kids. Plus me, that was eight people. So we was already packed. But my spirit was still telling me to go, you know, to do it anyways. And I probably would have got blessed from doing that, you know, in other areas. But... You guys, just listen to the Holy Spirit. Respect the Holy Spirit. If you out of nowhere, you just feel like praying, listen to your spirit and start praying. If you know how to speak in tongues, that's perfect. You don't have to worry about anything. Just repent and just start speaking in tongues. You don't know who you could be uh, praying for, who you're interceding for, what's going on, what's in the atmosphere, what's in the spiritual realm, what God needs you to do because you don't understand what the tongues are saying when you speak in it. So God could have you be praying for somebody way in Haiti or way in Mexico or wherever they at and you not even realizing that you're bringing this person through so I just give God the glory when it comes to that part but um when it comes to that part of of having the tongues because sometimes you just don't know what's going on and I feel like if we pray more in tongues things will happen even in the word of God it says you know pray in tongues you know y'all don't mind me I yeah, it is going to be an epic weekend. Um, you guys, I'm just so adamant about this right now because I wish that I had picked him up. But now I know when it's in my spirit to do something, I'm not going to ask any questions. I'm just going to do it. And and if it's even if it's not available, then it just I it was a, it, it's either miss or hit, but I should have done it. But you guys pray. Pray as much as you can. This is just a short message. That I just felt like I just wanted to drop. And that's about it. Just pray. Pray. If you know how to speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Because you know once you speak in tongues, the enemy can't, don't know what you're saying. And can't really pick up what's going on spiritually of what you're trying to do. See, Peter. Peter. Stop eating the paper. Stop it. Bad dog. Okay. So... Yeah, so spiritually, you don't you don't know. You don't know. So if you have the gift of tongues, that's a great thing. Use it. Use it. And I know sometimes we feel beat up and we feel tired, but you could be that much closer to your breakthrough. And when you pray for other people, I'm telling you, it's not. God didn't, see, God didn't save you just for you. He saved you to be the light for other people. Yeah, you could be in your own darkness right now, but did you know that praying for other people sometimes draws you out of your own darkness. Doing things for other people while they're going through sometimes blesses you. The hand that you open up to release to bless somebody else is the same hand that you're releasing to receive so you can be blessed yourself. I'm saying this to say this like, you know, pray. Pray for other people. Even for the people that's hurt you. Even for the people that, that desert you. Even for yourself. Pray for random people that you just see. Just pray. Pray. You understand me? If it's in your heart to do it, just do it. Because you never know what God is doing. You don't want to miss that opportunity to be a blessing to somebody else. And they don't have to know. Just do it. You understand me? Pray for me. 
Okay, and I'm gonna pray for you. I just had to drop this quick message, real quick, with, you know, whatever it, whatever it, it, whoever it's for, just receive it and just give God the glory and just let Him have His way because this life is hard and we need to be accountable. If no, if somebody didn't pray for me, I, I don't know where I would have been right now. If somebody did not pray for me and say, you know, let me pray for that girl because she is lost, I, I would have still been out there acting a hot mess. Okay, more of a mess than I'm acting now. <laughs> But no, serious. With Christ, no, nah, I'm good. But I'm so serious. Pray because I thank God for the person that took the time out to pray for me. I thank God. And I'm like, oh, your daddy prayed for you. I don't know who prayed for me. It could have been my daddy. It could have been other daddies. It could have been somebody who seen me and put it in, and God put it in their hearts to pray for me. But because who are we? Who am I? Who am I? Who are we? But God has given us people to cope with and live with to look out for each other nobody's telling you to go out and and do the most but do for what your hands can reach out to do and if you got if you got it to do more then do more if it's in you to do more if God's telling you to do more then do more but I just want to give God the glory because I just I'm so thankful right now and I just I'm just thankful and that's it that's all I have to say you guys like and subscribe to my channel and to God be the glory, you know, and have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Hey, guys, if you don't know how to speak in tongues and you've been saved, please hit me up. Um, inbox me or message me. I don't know how this thing's work. Uh, this thing work because I'm new to this whole thing. But um, I'm not sure how it works, though. I, well, what? I paused for no reason. I still don't know how it works. So, you guys, um, yeah, just inbox me or text me underneath. And I will just write your name down or try to find out how the message thing work on this. Uh, this channel thing and try to hit you up or hit me up on my Instagram or on my Facebook and you'll find the, the links down below. You guys have a blessed day. This life is hard enough on its own. We don't, we, we, we need to help each other. We're soldiers. Okay. For Christ. So that means we're in the army. So we got to fight, right? We got to We got to help each other out. Okay. If one of my homies got shot up while I'm in the army, I'm pretty sure I would have told him on my back and went through, you know, probably when they saw shooting though, but I don't know. I don't know how it works. I, I'm not an army baby, but I know in the body of Christ, I would definitely cover my friend. If I know that's my homie, I'll probably cover them. That's just me by nature. I do that. So I'm an intercessor. So that's what we do. All right. Love you guys. Gotta go. Bye-bye.